In the never-ending battle for suspension supremacy, Skidoo has released a new progressive rate suspension on the new MXE XRS and X models, which is truly a serious performer. Our motion is a very technical suspension, but let's talk about what the benefits are with that. Really, the benefits for us overall we see as more capability, more comfort, easier adjustment should you want to adjust it. It gets us extra capability from the fact that number one, it's got more travel than any other suspension. So you've got more travel in it to absorb the bump. Number two, it has a rising rate motion ratio to it. True progressive, true rising rate motion ratio. On a properly whooped up trail, our test team got the bang the bolts off this new suspension in West Yellowstone. Here's what they had to offer as first impressions on the new R motion. To look at it, it, it doesn't look all that much different than a, a conventional uh, rear suspension. Um, the external adjustments might, might have looked a bit gimmicky, but it, it works. It, it, it's, in my opinion, it, it's the best rear suspension going in the business. I mean, it, it, it handles the little bumps and it handles the big bumps and everything else in between, and no other rear suspension does that. Now you've got a machine that is really nice, soft and compliant, and then when you take those big hits, that's when the shock motion independent of the spring motion comes into play and by doing this uh, Skidoo has been able to valve the rear shock so that it can take those big hits without sacrificing uh, low speed uh, comfort. When you get into hitting the bigger bumps that's when the shock travels more and that's when all your absorption of the bump takes place and it, it makes it basically unbottomable. When you ride this thing it's amazing how a big a beating you can throw at this thing. We had some massive moguls and this thing just bounced, launched, and it just doesn't fatigue. And the other nice thing about that was neither did the rider. This is a very well set up sled. Tons of suspension that will never bottom out, but also won't bottom out the rider. With the introduction of the R motion on the MXZ, it raises the next question as to how long before it is threaded throughout the lineup. Here we've got some pretty unique products from Fly Racing or bolt-on applications on your snowmobile. We're taking a look at the Fly Tech riser and some Fly handlebars along with the adapter kits that go along with the risers for your snowmobile steering post. One unique thing about the Fly Tech riser is it's adjustable from a 7 8 bar to an inch and eighth bar. So depending on whatever snowmobile you have, it will fit your snowmobile because most snowmobiles now have an inch and eighth bar, but some older ones do have 7 8 so this fits all applications. Also, they have a complete size range from a two inch up to an eight inch rise, so you can get a complete comfort range for your snowmobile, depending on your riding style, depending if you're on a snowmobile with a more frontwards riding position, um, you can get a complete range to fit you for the type of riding you do. Also, we have the Fly Racing Carbon Wrapped Snowmobile Bar, which looks really, really cool, but it also adds some function and strength. The nice thing with the carbon wrap bar is when you put heated handlebar grips on here, the carbon actually holds in the heat on the bar throughout the whole bar. When you put heated handlebar grips onto an aluminum bar, it really doesn't hold any heat hardly at all. So with the carbon, it helps that and actually increases the heat throughout the bar. Up next on STV, it was a really big deal Sunday Saturday night.